you know what, it was a nice day today until the wind came out. Now hopefully uh, my microphone's doing its job and protecting my audio from the wind. I just thought I'd jump in with a quick update video in regards to what my plans are going forward with the camper van. Hence why I'm filming this outside in this horrendous wind. I might need to move to a spot that's a little bit more sheltered. It's because I'm too close to this cliff edge. Okay, so uh, this seems a lot more sheltered here. I'm at Hell's Mouth, which is, um, it's got a bit of a sort of high suicide rate in Cornwall here. And I've just come down onto this like little ledge just because there's this bank here to protect me from the wind. And I've just seen this. And what that is, it says, this too will pass. You really do matter, breathe. Yeah, it's a bit sad actually, just seeing that. You know, just seeing that then, it's kind of a bit of an eye opener that it doesn't matter how bad things get. Whether you've got problems with your van like I have, there's always people out in the world that are suffering a lot more than you. So as terrible as it can seem sometimes, there's always somebody worse off. Going forward, I am in two minds. My van is currently still in the garage. There's a very large chance that there won't be a video next week and that's why I'm sort of making this video now just to sort of keep you updated so that you don't think what's happened to Sean, what's happened to the van, what's going on. This year, unlike last year, I don't have a four back. And when I say a four back, what I mean is last year I had my Vauxhall Vivaro, which would always be there for whenever I had a problem with the Ford Transit. And I actually sold that van late last year because it was time for it to go and it went off to a better home with, to somebody that would use it more regularly than me. And because I don't have that four back now, it makes me feel like if I haven't got the van and I can't get out doing my camping adventures, I kind of hit a brick wall with these videos. So I'm considering doing another conversion on like a small van, a very cheap conversion, just so that I've got a backup. And one of the main reasons is because I didn't actually really make a conversion video about how I did up the Vivaro last time. And I'm not talking, it's not gonna be like it was last year. It's not gonna be nine months of video after video after video of me converting this van. I'm just gonna do it in my sort of little bit of free time that I get. And then I'll just do like a literally a start to finish video of the full build of the video because from the last van build, that was the video that actually did really well. This one here, if you haven't seen it, I mean, it's got half a million views now. So if you're the sort of person that don't want to watch each individual week of, of a van conversion happening, just watch that. It's literally from start to finish in 20 minutes. So if I was to do a new little sort of cheap build, because I think that that would probably be quite interesting to the majority of you that might be considering getting into van life and you know, you don't want to spend 20, 30, 40,000 on a camper van. If I can show you how to do it on the cheap, but still have everything you need, then I think that one, you might get a lot of pleasure out of it. It'll give me a spare van. And if I find that I'm not using the spare van, I can always sell it on, it's not a problem. And then if anything, that might actually help me sort of generate a bit more of an income so that I can do this YouTube channel full time. And if I think about like how much the transits cost since I've had it, I paid 11,000 for the van. I then had to pay 5,000 for a new engine. But when they put the new engine in, they put all the old stuff back on because else it would have cost me like probably more than double that to have everything done and since then i've had an exhaust manifold which cost me 500 pounds the last mot they had to put an inlet manifold on and change the egr valve along with a few other things as well that was 900 quid i've just put a new alternator on that was 475 pounds because it's a smart alternator i'm now having the fuel pump done which is going to cost another 600 pounds so all these things mount up but in a way it's kind of better to do it in stages and as much as Ford Transits get a bad rep and the amount of bad experiences I've had with it, I'm slowly replacing everything. So in a short period of time, hopefully it'll be like a brand new van. It's like my dad always says to me, when you buy a used van, you're buying somebody else's problems because the van that you've already got, you know all the work that you've already done on it. But when you're buying somebody else's van, they're normally selling it for a reason. So that's pretty much my plan. If you think I should get another van as a, as a second or backup, then let me know in the comments. If you would be interested in seeing like a full build time lapse video of from start to finish on how I actually convert a small van on the cheap in a short period of time as well, then also let me know about that. And uh, and yeah, like I said, if I end up not using it, I'll just sell it on. If I can build it quick enough and it's not going to cost too much, and I make a decent amount of money selling it, then I might actually, you know, do 
two or three a year. Obviously I'll advertise it on this channel first so it just gives you the opportunity to, to have first dibs if you want to buy it. But like I said, this could be a way of me sort of taking this channel from being a side form of income as to actually being a full-time job. When I'm doing up the sort of cheap van as well, I will still be doing my one week stealth camp video out and about. It won't be in the, the small van, it will be in the transit. But at least I'll still have the option to go out in that van if there are any problems with the transit. So like I said, there probably won't be a video next week, so just brace yourself for that. But be rest assured that I will be back once the van's back. I do have a video coming out in a couple of days, which is a um, literally just a review video on a on a very small and cheap electric bike. If you're not interested in electric bikes, I suggest you just skip that video. But if you're after something really small that you can fit in a car or fit in a van, then maybe check it out. What I'm trying to do on these sort of big review videos, kind of like the one I did recently with the Anchor Solix Power Station, I'm trying to keep it separate from my regular videos so that for the people that aren't interested in any of that, they don't necessarily have to watch it. I don't have to pepper it into sort of my main content. I'm not saying that in my weekend videos, there won't be a, a small brand deal here or there, or people might want to send me air fryers and things like that. I will still be showing that, but well, for any video that's going to be about a bike where I'm going to be riding it and talking about all the things I like about it, then I'm trying to sort of keep that to a, to a separate video for your sakes more than anything. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully I will be back next week with the van. Wish me luck and I'll see you then. Cheers. Also, thank you to everyone who's bought me a beer through the link in the description and everybody that's supporting the channel through Patreon. You're all legends.